community in the African American community is 75 percent, and it's over 50 percent in the Latino community. And why is that? Some of it could be personal choices, but also, you know, let's let's talk about stress and finances, how those play into choices that people make for the food that they purchase, or for what they can afford, or access to food that is healthy for them. And again, when we have situation where it's too expensive for people to live here, they have to find a way to survive. Sometimes that's cheap food that's bad for you. We need to address those things by having jobs here in New Haven, again, for real New Haveners, not just PhDs from the shoreline. We need to make sure that people here have money and the ability to access uh, healthy food. The other thing is, is that we have uh, a situation where people are wanting to come to New Haven and be able to walk places and ride bikes. I think that that's something that we should support as a city to make sure that it's a healthy way for people to get around and get exercise. But more importantly, again, when you're asking about zoning issues, that's something that we should look at. Um, are there ways that we can make sure that people have better access to foods and sort of grocery stores? Like, we had a big stop and shop um, situation, or actually a shop situation. And, um, and we need to make sure that healthy food is available to people, and that, again, people have the money and the resources to be able to access um, healthy food. Um, and I, again, I'm, I don't have all the solutions, and I'm happy to have people with input. I think that's the way that we're going to make the city work better. Um, you know, the mayor's been sending out flyers home to everybody every two days, 48 hours, we get another flyer. This is the mayor who listens, right? The mayor who listens. Well, you shouldn't have to tell you that every 48 hours that he listens. He should actually listen to you. And that's what I would do as a mayor. I would have you come in and help us figure out what's the best solution for your neighborhood. The community action agency actually started that on the war in poverty. And one of the things that was so successful about it when it first started off is that they actually went and asked the community, what are the problems that you need solved in your community, whether that's access to healthy food or getting access to jobs? We had to ask you what would work. The problem why the program got killed is that it was too successful and it skipped all the politicians who can they give out the funds to their favorite um, nonprofits or their power brokers or whomever. So the program failed because it was uh, skipping those traditional power bases. I think we need to find a way as a city to include more people into the decision-making process, whether that is in creating the city's budget, what are your priorities, what are we should be spending money on, or whether or not that's things around zoning things. What's the zoning that's right in your neighborhood to make it work better for you? Again, how can we make the city work better for you, not just the people who run it, or help you build a power base to run for governor? We need to make sure that the people that are getting the jobs, people who are getting the opportunities here, um, and we, the solutions that are going to help our communities are for the best interest of the people who live here. Thank you. I would definitely look at the zoning issue because um, that's so important. Just like uh, over in the hill where we just built the, uh, the uh, John C. Daniels School, right in front of the building where the kids can look out, there's a package store. Um, so we spent all these millions of dollars to build it on Congress Avenue and then 